So welcome into the very first edition of the Southern Quality Four G Men Nation of the 2019 season. I'm your host, Tim Owens. Over the next half hour, we take a look back at the Tigers' tough loss on the road against ULM and a look ahead to the Buddy Bowl as Coach Fobbs and his guys prep for a matchup with Louisiana Tech. We also sit down for a one on one conversation with GSU President Dr. Rick Gallo. But first, let's take a look back at the Tigers' loss on Saturday. Grambling State taking on ULM on the road to open the season. The Tigers had a chance to get on the board first on the opening drive, but Garrett Urban couldn't convert on the 40-yard field goal. ULM looking for an answer, but they too could not convert on the field goal. Still scoreless some seven-plus minutes into the game, but the Warhawks strike first. Josh Johnson breaking loose. 51 yards to the house. Just like that, it is 7-0 ULM. Big game for Johnson, 173 yards and two touchdowns on the night. But the Tigers looking to answer. Jeremy Hickbottom stepping up in the pocket and using his legs to pick up a first down. And then a little bit later, using his arm as well, finding Ray Richardson for 11 yards, converting on third down for the second time on the drive. And that set up this. Hickbottom finding Lyndon Rash 15 yards on the scoring strike, but they would miss the extra point. That's now four points left on the field in the first quarter alone. Tigers trailing 7-6. Moving ahead, second quarter, Caleb Evans finds Xavier Brown. He's coming right into your living room to take a bow. That made it 14-6. Late in the half, now 17-6. Tigers driving again. Hickbottom showing off the rushing skills. 12 yards on the play, and that set up a Garrett Urban 41-yard field goal just before halftime. Tigers trailed 17-9 at the break. Second half, now 24-9. Grambling with an answer. Hickbottom to Rash. Looked like a Tiger 16-yard touchdown, but a flag for holding and another for a personal foul. Pushed him back out of field goal range, so... Miguel Mendez comes in to punt, and it is an absolute beauty. The Tigers down it inside the five-yard line, but the Warhawks go 97 yards on six plays, capped by another Johnson touchdown run. Tigers fall 31-9 the final. After the game, Coach Fobbs talked about those missed opportunities. Those opportunities you have to hit when you're playing up, and that's the only way you win those type of ball games because eventually, you know, 22 more scholarships is going to overtake you later on in the game, and you have to play off the adrenaline by making those plays. So, you know, my hat's off to Matt Viatar and their staff. They did an exceptional job, you know, winning the ball game. I wish them the best of luck for the rest of the season, you know, but we'll be a good team as well. You know, I really feel good about this team. Yeah, they got their heads on the right way. You know, at the end of the day, the only thing that's left is you have to execute. And, um, and when we start executing, we'll be a really good football team. Coach, when you look at the stats, I mean, if you don't look at the score, it looks like it's a three or seven point game. Yeah. A lot of missed opportunities yeah. for you guys. That's the, that's the song of the game, you know, is those opportunities, you have to take advantage of it, you know, and, and we just didn't. You know, we moved the ball well. Um, you know, there were a couple opportunities where we got guys wide open and we either left it short or a couple times, you know. So, um, you know, we just got to go back to the drawing board. You know, I really feel good about them and, and we'll, we'll be fine. You know, uh, this is one of those games that, you know, you expect to be pretty tough. You know, but, you know, we should have played a lot better, but it's week one, and you expect those things. Ten penalties, 85 yards, something yeah. you're going to address with the guys. Yeah, that's, and that's, that's a week one deal that you're always a hurt that you're trying to overcome. You know, ten penalties doesn't help you in a game like this. And, and you have to play clean, and you have to play flawless in order to have a chance. It doesn't guarantee victory, but it does give you a chance. And uh, we had our chances, and, you know, we fell short. On the positive side, it seemed like you guys ran the football really well today. Yeah, I feel, feel really good about our offensive line. I also feel really good about our running backs. I thought they ran hard. Uh, there were times where we could have gotten a little bit more out of the runs, you know, but it's the first game. Guys are a little bit excited, and, uh, you know, those things happen. But I feel really good about our team. If we just remain positive, you know, through through this, this whole little ordeal, we'll be fine. You know, we'll, we'll have a really good football team. A tough loss for the Tigers to open the season, but still a ton to be encouraged about after that game, including the play of quarterback Jeremy Hickbottom. The junior from Mobile played some pretty solid football on Saturday night, and he had the Southern Quality Ford Play of the Week. Hickbottom being Lyndon Rash 
on a 15-yard scoring strike late in the first quarter. A perfect throw and a great catch for the Tigers. Only touchdown on the night. Hickbottom to Rash for the Southern Quality Ford Play of the Week. We went three by one. You know, we put the uh, put the third receiver on the line of scrimmage. You know, basically ran double dig outside, almost like cruise routes and a corner route on the inside. Uh, basically getting uh, him singled up on a safety. You know, putting the receiver on a safety. You know, is kind of a, a mismatch, so to speak, especially with uh, Lyndon Rash. You know, very very good receiver, big body, strong body, but then also has great hands. So, uh, very good throw, uh, but also an even better catch. Let's take a quick look at Jeremy Hickbottom's numbers for the game. Finishing 18 of 31, 157 yards at a touchdown, no interceptions, no turnovers. He also finished with 73 yards rushing on 10 carries. And that brings us to the Southern Quality Ford Player of the Week. And this week it goes to former Arcadia star Dan Quarian Fields. Fields finished with a game-high 16 tackles. He was all over the field all night long. He also had the Tigers' only turnover of the, no turnover of the night picking up an intersection, interception in that second quarter. Very dynamic football player, but probably an even, not probably, an even better person. Um, Dan's come, Dan comes from a humble situation right there from Arcadia, uh, has worked himself into a great football player, uh, and even a better person. I mean, anytime you have a student athlete that, that leaves the practice field in his practice uniform to go to class, uh, and then comes back when class is over, uh, to complete practice. That says a lot about, you know, the young man. He's, he's a dynamic human being. He is what we call the epitome of a G-man. That's going to close the book on week one. But coming up next, we look ahead to week two as the Tigers prep for the Buddy Bowl, an all-Lincoln Parish battle coming up Saturday afternoon as GSU will travel five miles down the road to Ruston to take on Louisiana Tech. We hear what Coach Fobbs thinks of the Bulldogs. Coming up next.